Welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2016 Big Country 4010RD. This is a new uh, rear den floor plan. They basically kind of took the uh, popular front living room floor plan and flip flopped it um, so that you didn't have to be up in the front section to be in the living room. So it's pretty cool. We'll see that when we go inside. Uh, one of the first things on the outside here, we've got a really nice fiberglass front cap. It is sloped back and also the corners and stuff have been rounded off for uh, max turn technology. You've got a really tight turn here which is good for short bed trucks. Uh, you've got a nice hitch cover here. Um, down below here we've got a huge storage compartment area here. Basically right here we have a light switch for the light down here. We've got our hydraulic selector valves. Uh, for the slide room systems. Uh, I've got your hydraulic reservoir. You've got a 12-volt uh, battery disconnect there, a little hose, uh, hose holder. You've also got your uh, LCI uh, level up system uh, kind of control up there as well too. And you can kind of see a light up there also. Um, set up for uh, two batteries if you want to do two battery system in it. So you can do that. Uh, also kind of pre-drilled and set to put a uh, generator down in there if you wanted to do that. Some people do uh, those portable generators or onboard generators. Um, you've got a nice uh, security light up front here. Basically kind of on the corner to brighten it up over on this area. You've got a power awning which has an LED light strip in it as well too. You've got upgraded frameless windows outdoor speakers. This particular unit has the hydraulic leveling system on it. So you've got hydraulic jacks on the front, you've got two toward the middle, and then two just behind the rear axles. Uh, full automatic system, just hit a button, it auto levels by itself. Really nice feature. Uh, that is an option. So if you don't want it, you don't have to get it either. Behind the door here, You've got a single 30-pound propane tank. There's another one on the other side. There's also a little catch here. You could put uh, like a padlock on or something if you wanted to as well. Over here in the big storage compartment area, we've got the auto-level jack controls here. Uh, also another little switch here for the light. Uh, you've got D-rings in the floor here. So basically you can tie down some of your items that you might put in here. But very large storage compartment here. Nice and finished off. Got lights down here as well. You've got TV hookups and an electric outlet out here also. Uh, venting down here. Got an outside electric outlet here. Got a little door catch here to hold the door propped open. Four entry steps going in, making it a lot easier. You've got a nice wide entry door here. It's got the radius cornered top, so if it touches the awning material, it's less likely to damage it. You've got an LED light here as well, too. Nice upgrade. Large folding entry handle here. Uh, really, really important feature, warranted for full-time RVing. A lot of campers will void your warranty if they find out you're living in it and being a full-timer. Uh, so this is something that's real important to you if you are a full-time RVer. Here you can see the uh, rear hydraulic jack on the back here. Also on the coach you've got upgraded aluminum wheels. They are ST23585R16 G range tires. These are a real heavy duty tire. They're not the cheaper E range you're going to find on most campers. Also, while we're down here looking at suspension, we've got the Trail Air upgrade for the axle suspension here. And also, they go above and beyond to putting shocks on the axles. So, you actually have shocks and Trail Air. Much nicer suspension system than most RVs. Also, you've got the uh, Dexter uh, Never Adjust brake system as well, too, so it does kind of auto-adjust itself, uh, where a lot of them you have to pull and adjust the little spring tensioner yourself. Uh, 
Down below is the uh, spare tire underneath the bottom area there. Going on around to the back side here. You've got the rear ladder, nice fiberglass cap on the back where some just do a flat back. This is a little bit nicer, cleaner look. You've got LED taillights and rear top lights as well too. You've got a metal license plate holder. Most of them are plastic. They usually break after the first year or two. Uh, so you got a nice upgrade there as well. Down here, we've got the uh, fresh water tank drain. There's a little valve right there. Also, while we're down here, you can see nice enclosed underbelly. Another nice thing, too, on the bottom of the slides here. Nice hard surface finished off. It's not a cheaper Darko area down here. Here we've got our stove uh, vent exhaust and we've got our refrigerator access panels here for maintenance and venting purposes. You've got another security light on this side so if you got to come over here at night and do anything you can see a little better over here. Got your furnace exhaust, got your dump area down here got a large water heater here. Uh, basically you've got the little drain plug right here, uh, pressure relief valve. There's a little fuse right here. This is the control board that tells it what to do when you push the buttons inside. Some little thermostat sensors here. But your model numbers and serial numbers are on that sticker if you ever have any issues with it. On to this side of the storage compartment here. Notice, nice big door opening here. You've got a thick baggage door here. Very well insulated compared to the little thin ones on the cheaper models. Uh, you've got wastewater, two gray water tank handles to pull and dump. Uh, everything feeds up through here, your water lines and stuff like that. So you can close the door and lock it in place. Uh, bypass valves, black tank flushes, city water, fresh water controls. Outside utility shower, cables and satellite hookups. Got a light for out here, electric outlet out here, uh, another cable outlet. You've also got some instructions here. Uh, Heartland's very good at doing this type of stuff, kind of giving you some answers to what everything is, how to use it. Um, got the uh, power cord reel here, rolls your power cord up in there. Down below, you've got the uh, dump tube to put your dump hose in. Behind this door here, we've got our uh, other fresh tank, or uh, propane tank. We've got your regulator here, basically for using this bottle here. We flip it over to this direction, so we're using this hose here that's attached to this bottle. You want to use the other bottle, you flip it over here, it goes to the bottle on the other side. It's red because it's empty, turns green when it's pressurized. Again, bottom of the slide out, nice and solid, finished off very well. Another nice thing too, even though this has the auto level system, you also have another control up here for the front jacks. Really cool feature. Not a lot of brands do that. They make you fire up the whole auto level system and use that control. Uh, which would be on the other side, so a little nicer uh, extra touch there. You've got LED front running lights also. Take a few minutes, walk you through the inside of this coach. Going on inside here, you've got a nice uh, wood-looking vinyl floor. 
This is the bow floor, uh, which basically means it's more cold crack resistant, slip resistant, and mold and mildew resistant than standard linoleum that's used in a house or in cheaper RVs. We've got a really nice solid surface countertop, LG HiMac countertops here. We've got a nice high rise faucet. It's got the pull out sprayer as well too. Your countertops here, you've got solid surface, stainless sink. They do a nice little advertisement kind of explain some of this stuff here. Uh, you've got uh, again G-rated tires, Dyson Central Vac, option for a 22 cubic foot, but they actually come standard now with the 18 cubic foot, uh, which is bigger than most brands right off the bat. Uh, hydraulic level systems, you've got your uh, laminated construction features, fireplaces, uh, hardwood cabinets and fascias. This is real stained hardwood, it's not cheap lumber core. MCD roller shades, LED lighting, R38 roof and floor insulation, R11 sidewall insulation. Uh, just really nice little advertisement they put in all their coaches too. Uh, it's good to hold on to that as well for when you do go to resell it down the road. Uh, it kind of just helps explain everything to the next person. Here we've got uh, a lot of cabinets and drawer space. You've got nice recessed hinges here. Full extending ball bearing drawer guides. You've got the larger oven. Three burner stove top. It's got the sparker for it. Solid cover as well too. You've got the larger 30 inch microwave here by High Point. This refrigerator is really cool. Norcold just came out with this. Uh, a lot of them to get this big you've got to go to a residential electric uh, battery operated refrigerator. Well here they uh, worked with Norcold a little bit um, and got the 18 cubic foot gas electric refrigerator. Uh, this is new by Norcold. Most of these when you see a gas electric the biggest for a long time was only 12.3 cubic feet and now they've brought it all the way up to 18 with the new Polar Max. And then you've got controls for it right here as well. Again, this is now standard on the Big Country product. You've got a real nice freestanding dinette here. Basically they give you two folding chairs so you can put them away if you don't want to use them. Uh, you've got two regular chairs with some storage under them. Also have a uh, nice leaf extension to go in the middle there. So if you do need some extra elbow room, you've got that available. On the back back here, this is the front living room design. They just put it into a rear living room model. Really cool idea. Um, basically, you've got a couple nice windows here on each side of the uh, couch area here. You've got another sofa that makes into a bed. You've got a sofa over here that makes into a bed as well too. Um, really cool features. A lot of sleeping space. Two reclining chairs here in the uh, theater seat. You've got really nice artistic ceiling beams here. That is a nice option as well. You've got the ceiling fan up here, ducted air conditioning. Uh, also standard is two air conditioners on the big country now. In floor ducted heat, air goes through the ceiling ducts. Huge TV, sound bar, electric fireplace. Then down over here you've got the uh, Regular stereo system, basically AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, um, you know, HDMI inputs, video inputs, USB, SD, uh, a lot of upgrades there for the uh, stereo system. And 
Another really nice feature that they do, we've got the MCD roller shades here. You've got a day shade and a night shade. These are also made in America. It's a nice little extra touch here. But basically pull it and they go up. Nice and easy. They've got uh, speed adjusters on them as well too. So you can slow them down or speed them up. Down here you've got your uh, electric breakers and fuses. We've got slide out controls, awning controls, awning light, ceiling fan, lounge lights. Uh, again, LED lights, a lot of lights in here. Ceiling lights, decorative lights here as well too. You've got your entry light, porch light, flood lights, water heater gas, water heater electric, water pump. And you've got the uh, battery condition, fresh water, black water, gray one, and gray two. Uh, also, we have a fantastic fan up here. So if you're cooking, it gets a little smoky, moisture, you just hit the button, open that up. The fantastic fan controls are right here in the hallway. Uh, air conditioner and furnace control in the hallway. And then you've got a light switch here for the hallway as well, too. Also, at the entry here, you've got another little light switch here to activate some lights when you walk into the coach. And this particular coach has a dry weight uh, of 13,784. All campers have a yellow sticker like this now, all the new campers, uh, that tell you the weight of it. Uh, you've got a handle here going up the hallway, nice little window area, smoke detectors. Got a bathroom behind this door here. This door actually has a lock on it. You'd be real surprised how many don't. Linoleum in here as well too. Uh, solid surface countertops. Nice vessel bowl. You've got medicine cabinet here. LED lighting in here as well too. Glass, uh, triple pane glass that slides across for a shower door here. Another nice feature too, this is a one-piece fiberglass shower stall, less likely to have any issues. Also has a seat in here as well too. Skylight up above. The little circular thing there is to check for leaks and stuff like that. It's just an access hole there. Uh, you've got your ground fault electric breaker here. Some light switches here as well too. But just in the bathroom here alone, you've got five lights. Yeah, that's most only have one or two if you're lucky. In floor ducted heat down there as well. Plenty of room for your towels and your washcloths and stuff as well, too. Going up here, basically we're entering the bedroom. Got a light switch right when you walk into the bedroom area here. Plenty of room at the foot of the bed here to maneuver, get around, get up and get dressed in the morning. Uh, you've got room on the side of the bed here as well too. Heat vent in the floor. You've got the TV antenna crank up handle here as well too. Light switch here for one side, and then a light switch over there for the other light over there as well, too. Again, nice little upgrade. A lot of them you got to reach up, flip them on and off, uh, or one switch for both. Nice headboard. Bed raises up. There is some storage underneath the here as well, too. Flat screen TV. Second air unit up here, which is also ducted throughout the coach. Again, even up here, recessed hinging, solid surface. You've got a lot of nice upgrades here, real wood, not the cheap lumber core stuff or press board stuff. Big window here. Got a nice big hanging closet or 
washer dryer area. If you want to do a combo washer dryer or a stack washer dryer, you can do either one in this camper. Over here, you've got a uh, like his and her little closet area here. Basically, you've got a little light up there, but you've got two hanging bars here on this side. And then over to the other side, also you've got nice little catches here. They're metal, not cheap plastic stuff that's just going to break the first time you pull on it a little too hard. Um, you've got your uh, Dyson cordless vacuum system here. A couple shelves here. Another hanging bar, another light on this side. Little shelf rack back there, electric outlet over there. Also got uh, TV controls here for some satellite stuff, TV antenna button for the booster system on it and everything as well too. Uh, nice and easy to get to. Again, this has been another video on the Big Country 4010RD, the new rear entertainment area here. Thanks for taking the time to check out our video. Please be sure to check out our website, CouchesRVNation.com. We're one of the largest wholesale RV dealers in the country. We sell and ship campers all around the world. We will definitely save you thousands of dollars over your local RV dealers. Thanks for checking out our videos.